Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are making the man scarf. I know right how gorgeous is this? Okay one side is light grey with dark thin lines, one side is dark grey with I'm sorry dark black with uh, light grey lines. The full measurement of our scarf in length is 165 to 166 centimeters which is I think is about 65 inches. The full measurements to the width of the scarf um, oh I believe is 15 centimeters six inches let's have a quick look I'm pretty sure it is uh, yeah, it's about six inches, which is 15 centimeters in width. We're not completely finished yet, guys. I've left a tail end here, so we still have the yarn attached um, because we are going to do a border next week. But for today, all we are doing is actually making our scarf. I will show you the items that we used in about two seconds. So let's get making. All right, guys, the yarn we used for this scarf is the Luxury Slate. Now, um, Bendigo Woolen Mills has this gorgeous colour. I love this grey. Um, we only used about 100 grams of this grey and the black. They only have one black, but I can't for the life of me find the label, so I do apologise. It's not much different to this label. The only thing that's different is it's a black. <laughs> so this is the um, details that you will need. Uh, you will need a four millimeter hook but yours truly use the four and a half um, and it's only because it makes the scarf a little bit more chunkier and a little bit more flexible so it's not so squished um, and you will need your scissors yes you will and yes i'm sorry guys you will need that darning weaving needle okay but yeah we used 100 grams of each of the yarns and I'm not going to talk anymore. We are just going to get started. All right, we are going to start with the chains. Okay, you just need to form a slip knot, yarn over finger once, yarn over the finger twice, hold it there, pass your back loop halfway over, hold it there, pass that next loop all the way over, pop your hook in there, and you're set. Now, um, if you're not sure on how to do any of the stitches today, don't forget, guys, uh, just check the description box down below and everything you see here will be in that description box down below. Oh, let's just blow that up a little bit. So initially, all you have to do is chain on 250 stitches or 240, depending on the size that you want. Now, my scarf was 250, so we are going to chain on 250. You don't have to. Again, it's up to you, depending on the size you want. So that's yarn over hook, pull through the loop once, and then twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so what I want you to do, head off and chain on your 250, and I shall meet you back in a moment. Alrighty, here we are at the end of our 250 stitches. There they are. Okay, now what we're going to do is do a half double crochet in the very second stitch from your hook. So there's your first stitch and there's your second. Oh, I should get a nice close up so you can see. How's that? So it's not in your first stitch there, but it's in your second stitch right there. So it's yarn over hook, pop your hook into the chain space you can put pop it through the first thread or you can pop it through both the loops okay i always pop it through both you don't have to okay yarn over hook pull up a loop you should have three loops on your hook yarn over hook pull through all three loops on your hook pretty basic huh now we're going to go into the very next stitch and do exactly the same thing yarn over hook pop it through the stitch yarn over hook pull up a loop yarn over hook pull through all three loops on your hook and you're going to do that all the way across to 250 stitches by the end of the row you should have either 248 or 249 depending on how many stitches you had in the beginning okay go ahead and complete this and i'll meet you up okie dokie here we are at the end of this row and i have one stitch left okay is it one or two? <laughs> it's one. There we go. 
Let me just blow this up a little bit for you. Okay, so it's yarn over hook. You pop it through your two loops there. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over hook. Oh no, don't pull that through. This is where we're going to change our colours. So what I want you to do is add your black. Okay, so you're holding that loop there. All right. So you grab your new colour. Okay, and all you're doing is pulling it through all three loops on your hook. I hope that helped. Turn your work. Now, it doesn't matter which way you turn your work, just remain consistent. You need to hold all those threads in place and then you do chain one, chain two. I should move all this out of the way so you can see. <laughs> then you're going to do yarn over hook and that's your first stitch, but we've done our chains on it. Turn towards you. You've got your two, um, your V there, so your two loops. What we want to do is pop it in the back loop. Not that front loop there. I'll give you a nice close up so you're going to see. All right. So you don't want, there's your two loops there. That's your front loop. And that's your back loop. All right. So what we're going to do together, yarn over hook, pop it in that back loop right there. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over hook, pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay. So a little bit fiddly, but you can get it. Okay, yarn over hook. There's your two loops again, right there. You're going to not pop it in that first loop, the front one there, but the very back one. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over hook, pull through all three loops on your hook. And so on. And so forth. Okay. So all I want you to do now is continue in this manner all the way across until you get to the second last stitch again and I'll meet you up. Okay, so here we are on your last stitch. So with your very last stitch, you yarn over hook and instead of putting it through that back loop, you are putting it through both loops in that chain, the last two chains you've come to. Okay, now before you pull the loops through, you are going to change colours yet again. We are going to change to the grey and grab your grey or whatever colour you're using. Uh, pop your loop through. Okay. Now what you need to do so that you don't lose everything, you need to hold all your threads in place at the back. Well, there's quite a few threads now. Now you're going to get this, guys. You're going to get a lot of threads. Okay. So you turn your work like normal. Chain up your two, one and two, and then you're going to start, miss that first space right there, the very first one right there. It's very hard to see black. But see, you've got your little V there and your V there. You're missing your first V and you're going the back loop of that second V. Okay, oops, oops, just split the arm there. Sorry about that. Back loop again there. We're doing exactly the same thing in this row, okay? So keep going into each back loop all the way across and soon I think in the next row actually you'll start to see the different uh, combination looks you know how it grey on one side and black on the other you'll start to notice that soon not with this row but probably with your next few rows so what I want you to do is go ahead and continue this row until you get to the very end of the row and when you get to the end of the row we shall meet up and then we shall change to your black again okay and then I'll tell you what you need to do next all right so go ahead and continue this row and get to the end and I'll meet you up Alrighty, here we are at the end of this row oh my gosh how long is the scarf all right here we go so we're on our last stitch let me just blow this up for a minute like so okay so there's your last stitch I don't know if you can see it properly there in the light. There we go. There's your last stitch that I've just done. Now you've got these chain stitches left. Remember, we are putting it through two loops of the chain stitches. So there's, you've done your yarn over hook. So there's your chain stitches. Grab both the loops. See how you've got like a little V there? You may not be able to see it in the dark there. Oh, there it is. There's two little loops right there. Pull your yarn through. I need to grab a, uh, a bit of black. Okay, here we are. your black through like so and you're ready to start your next row 
All right, so go ahead and do um, all together 20 rows. So you need 10 rows of your gray and 10 rows of your black. It should measure about 15 centimeters or six inches. Now, it's entirely up to you. If you wanna make your scarf larger, let me show you what inches, what it'll look like, okay? So there's your width of your scarf. If you made it the same as me, it'll come about that big, okay? That's what 15 centimeters looks like and six inches, okay? So go ahead, do your 20 rows, meet me back here and I'll show you what you need to do next. All right, guys, here we are at the end of the final row, yay. <laughs> so we do a half double crochet in that um, second last stitch, as you would any other back loop stitch. Now we're just going to put a half double crochet in the chain stitches. Remember to put it through both the loops on the last stitch. And that's it. Now, what you're going to do, you're not going to change color. You're just going to pull up that loop and leave it there because we are going to do a border row next week. Yay! <laughs> so it depends on how many rows you did to what color you landed on. Okay, if you didn't land on the gray, I must admit I may have said 20 rows. It should be either 19 or 21. So I think I corrected that up the top in that previous um, little section there. So just finish off on a gray row or whatever color you used because that is the color we are going to use for the border. Okay, guys, so there you go. You have completed your scarf. Let's see if we can fit it in. I don't think we can. <laughs> I know I took a full... Um, picture of it or full image of it in the promo so you will see it in the promo but look how big this is yay <laughs> now yours truly did leave I've weaved in all my ends but I left one for you because I wanted you to see the way I left them in, the way I've weaved them in okay now you may be able to see a couple of my ends but these are going to be cut a little bit closer and they also will be crocheted over anyway Give them a little bit of a tug and they do tend to disappear. All right, so that's that. Now I'm just going to show you quickly how I weave in this end. Because it's a it's a, a weird edge, so you can't weave it up and down. You could have, if you wanted to, not cut your ends, okay, and just um, raise them up as you went along. Um, but that would mean having to work with two um different grays and two different blacks and then just weaving the two ends at the end or the four ends at the end which probably would have been easier because we are going to crochet over that front edge so no one's going to see that okay now when you're weaving in um, these ends here because you don't want to go up and down that way you kind of want to go in and out of some stitching but remember we are splitting the stitching okay now just be weary about this splitting because once you've done make sure it's all correct because once you start splitting you can't get that undone it's really really difficult to get undone so have a look at the back make sure your needle is not shown it's a little bit shown but it's not shown on the black or right there it's hitting a black all right you want to pop it through the gray that way all right just slide it through and i think my other end is too long <laughs> There you go. So we're just sliding that through. Give it a gentle tug. If you pull it too much, it'll go in a little bit. So you just straighten it up a bit. Now you're going to go back the other way. A little bit fiddly because the scarf is really big, guys, and I can't fit it all into the, the frame. Okay, there we go. So we are just splitting it all the way back. The other way, just check to make sure you can't see it. We can't. And there you go. <clears throat> All right, I still have this little leftover of this cold, guys. We're going back one more. I usually only get back three times, but because we started there, I am going to go back one more time. And of course, they're in different areas, okay? And then you pull it through. Oh, I lost the other end. Where is it? There it is. Okay, and then just give it a tear i'm a tear <laughs> give it a cut what am i saying tear as close to the edge as you can be careful not to cut your um end and there you go don't forget to join me next week doing the border row of our scarf thank you so much for watching and guess what guys ciao for now